Aaron Off-Roader here. Today I've got a special one for you. I'm going to be changing a CV out in its natural environment. Now there's plenty of videos on YouTube showing how to do it in the shed, which is under ideal conditions. Now that's not always the case. A CV never breaks in the shed. It's usually when you're out in the bush having a go. So this is a typical scenario here, trying to hop up this ledge, bit of a tree root up there, come down too hard, boom, snap the CV. So now you're in a pickle, and if you're on your own, if you don't know what you're doing, you can be in a world of hurt. It's advisable to carry a CV and for a Toyota Prado, same CV left and right, so it makes it super easy. Only have to carry one, but for the Ford Rangers and the BT50s, I know the left and right are different, so you have to carry one of each. So, here I'm going to give you a demonstration of how I would tackle this situation right here. So, firstly, we're going to want to work on getting the wheel off. So, I've got a winch on this vehicle, so I'm going to use it. Now I've got a tree just up there, so I'm just going to pull this wheel out of this hole, turn the winch isolator on, it's ready to go. Now just taking up the slack, get ready to pull myself up this hill a little bit. Nice and gentle pull, it's up onto a better level. Check if that's alright. Yeah, look, that looks pretty good there, I think. Now, I understand not everyone's got a winch, so another option is to possibly roll back down. The the hill a little bit and then do it from there on a bit flatter location. So here I'm going to leave the winch attached so the car can't roll back. It's just the same as putting wheel chocks on your wheels in the shed. So I'm going to use the winch for that and see how I go. So this is actually a two part series. One for when you've got a CV and one for when you don't. So this will get you home and then get you ready to change it. First things first you're going to want to loosen your wheel nuts lock nut make sure you've got your lock nut in your car if you have lock nuts um, as far as most of the other gear got a pry bar block of wood and i'm going to use a standard bottle jack because not everyone's got a high lift and then as i go through i'll show you what tools you need for this method i'm going to show you you're going to want to put your jack on a bit of wood and then right under the point under there Got that bit of rag there so it's not metal on metal. Got a wooden block underneath for stability. Just gonna jack it up from there. So we've got it jacked up. We're gonna get wanna get this wheel off. See what we're dealing with. So you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna move this and put it under the car. Right. First thing we wanna do is get this cap off. And then I'm going to show you what I do with this. Most people undo hit, undo the ball joint on the UCA, but I reckon ball joints are better left alone and you've got to pull a lot more stuff off. This way, there's two bolts underneath. I'm going to undo them. I'm going to hook a ratchet strap around here up to the scrub bar and you can winch all this up heaps easier. It'll make the job so much quicker. Might have to move to a bigger screwdriver. Here we 
we go. Get this one off, and then pull this split pin to make him out a bit. A bit more than that. Remove the castellated nut. Put them in there, ready to go. And then you've just got this nut here. So this is one of the only special tools you need for this job. It's a 35mm socket on these Toyotas, but it's pretty rare to find a 35, so a 36 will do the job. That's what I run. This one here can be pretty tight sometimes. I just had to jump on it, but that's it. Line this one off, and then you're ready to undo the bolts at the bottom. Put that with that. A new CV comes with a new nut anyway. Those two are the two we want to undo. This one here. That's the lower ball joint, but there's one behind it, same as this. Now, I've featured this method a couple of times in my Insta stories. I haven't really went into too much detail of it, but yeah, I'll show you now. So you get the end of the ratchet strap, one half goes up here, around that, and then that's your, that's where you anchor from, and then just around this bottom arm here. Double wrap, a bit more grip, covered in grease already, just like that. Alright, oh, no. straighten this puppy out, start taking some weight. Remove this last bolt. Last bolt removed. Now just as you've seen here, all, all I've undone is those two bottom bolts. All this is still connected. The sway bar just happens to be disconnected because that's what broke. You can do that if you like. ABS line's still on there, brake line's still on there, caliper's still on there, rotor's still on there. It makes it a lot quicker and a lot easier. And you pull this up out of the way. You see your CV's already coming out. Give him a bit of a pull. And that's one end out, easy as that. Pretty much could have done that one handed. So, the next step is to get, a, get this pry bar here. Next step is to get this pry bar here and just pry that inner CV joint out of the diff. So, depends what level you are, you might lose some oil. Um, I think mine will be right, I don't think any oil will come out, but yeah, I'll pry it out and then pull that CV out. Here's a better handheld view of what I've got going on. See, the CV, and here's these two bottom bolts. See, nothing's too tight. Everything's all right, and this is taking the weight. So in your joint of the CV, I just cracked it with the bar like that. Now it's ready to pull out. I'm going to lose a little bit of oil, but that's all right. I'll just be quick. And you just grab hold of the CV, pull him out. tight fit apparently. There it is, he's out. Right, I did say this is a two part series, so you've got two options. You've either got a brand new CV, or you've got to work with what you've got to get you home. So this is a full time four wheel drive. It won't drive with no front CV, unless you follow these steps. So this is the CV I just pulled out. It just needs a new boot. It's probably a little bit of contamination there, I'll clean it all out. But this is an old CV that I'm willing to cut up for this demonstration. So I'll cut this one up, so the video link will be up here, and that'll be the differences of just getting home. But for this video, I'm going to throw a brand new in. Here she is. Look at that. Fresh as a daisy. Put all that in. Of course, take quick your rubbish home. Don't be a grub. So yeah, I'm going to throw this new bad boy in. Let's do it.
So the reason it took a bit of force to get it out is because of this circlip here. So it joins somewhere, just there, and it actually pushes in and clicks in, and then it won't come back out. The hard part's trying to get this in and not getting in the way of the camera. So yeah, if you haven't changed one of these before, there's a bit of a trick to it. So what you gotta do is you pull it out, just to the edge of the boot, you'll feel, don't go too far, because you'll pull the inner joint out and you'll be stuffed. Pull it out, and then just go boom, in like that, slip straight in. So that's that side, and then this side, just feed straight into the back of here. All right, then you lower this down a little, feed that through, just position it just so you can get the nut on. I'm going to put the nut on. All right, that's started. So, next thing you want to do is start lining up them holes underneath. These two bottom bolts underneath are very important. That's why I always carry some Loctite 243 with me, thread locker and then always put a bit of Loctite on them because you do not want these bolts coming out. That's one started. Easy as that. So much grease, honestly. What have I got myself in for? Out there somewhere. Second bolt in, and then you're going to want to tighten these up. Right, they're pretty tight, so that's done. And um, I'm just going to tighten this up, put that uh, castellated nut on, put the split pin through, and then we're pretty well done. You now just check at the back that your seal's going to seal properly. Mine's looking pretty good. Right, that's on. And the castellated nut. This bad boy here. I'm going to throw it on in a position it's going to line up. About there, put your pin back through, get your pliers. Grab one leg, get this cover here, clean around the outside of it. Sit him in like that, and just tap it in gently, all the way around. Easy as that. Now, all I have to do is just put this wheel back on, let it down, and off we go. Keep hitting the tracks or get home, either way. <clears throat> Lastly, you want to throw your wheel back on. Let me bloody cap back in there. It's in a hell of a spot. The dust come off me. Alright. Start throwing these nuts back on. Righto. See these changed. The wheels all tight. The last thing, just get it off the jack, pack up this mess, and keep hitting the tracks. Ew. That standard bottle jack does the job with these.
thanks for watching guys as much as this was a bit of a laugh there is some key points in there that i really do help you or a mate get out of trouble when you're out in the bush so if you like the video like and subscribe to my channel and there's more to come